Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how to get your parents to let you wear women's clothing. Tip number one is going to be talk to your parents about transgender or cross-dressers. So bring up famous or popular in actors or actresses or models that your parents may know in hopes to maybe spark some response out of them. So get to test the waters, talk about Caitlyn Jenner, talk about Laverne Cox, um, and just start exploring the possibilities with them before maybe coming out if you haven't already. But if you have came out, I have more tips down later in the video for you. Tip number two is going to be after you've confronted them about wanting to wear women's clothing, explain why. Be as specific as possible. When your parents know that you're serious about this and why you're serious about this, it makes it harder for them to say no. If you do not know how to explain yourself, feel free to just say you feel the need to explore yourself. It is okay to not know why. Tip number three, discuss your identity. Now, gender and clothing do not have any sort of correlation other than the one that we as humans have placed on them. The second you start talking about cross-dressing or um, dressing fully female, they tend to be curious about your gender identity and your sexual orientation. And I think it's important to really talk about what specifically is the desire that you have. The second part to discussing your identity is coming out. Now, coming out doesn't have to be scary. Do it in whichever way is most comfortable to you. If that's telling everyone or telling your family or just telling your closest friends, whatever it is, coming out is a really important way for you to feel more confident and comfortable living the life you want to live. Tip number four is to break down stereotypes. A lot of parents or adults or even just the public get get scared or a negative feeling towards a group of people such as transgender people due to stereotypes society has built on them. Also know that your conversation does not have to be about your sexual identity. You do not have to discuss who you're interested in. And if it is brought up, just calmly explain to them the difference between gender and sexual identity. Step number five, and just as an insurance, remind them that you're still you and that clothing doesn't change who you are. Revealing info about your desire to dress or identify as a different gender can come as a shock or a surprise to your parents. And some wish that you just had told them sooner. And if they question the, the duration it took you to tell them, you can always state that you weren't trying to keep this a secret from them, but you were just trying to find the right time and way to tell them of your desire to identify or dress as female and that you were researching to find the best way to approach it and answer questions they may have. The last thing you want to do is ask them for their support. Now, tell them that them accepting you is one of the most important things to you or is the most important thing to you and that you'll continue to want them to be a part of your life. Referring back to my experience specifically, one thing I had to do is do it in chunks. My father was not okay with me going to high school wearing dresses or skirts for the first three years of my transition until I finally was like, dad, I can't lie to myself or to the individuals in my GSA because I was co-president of it. And I, I feel the need to express myself in the most truest way possible. And we sat down, we, we, I tried on some clothes, I, I bought some clothes, brought them home, got his approval before actually wearing it, and slowly eventually got into senior year wearing whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And my dad was okay with it. My father's primary, primary concern was my safety. He was nervous that I would have gotten bullied or harassed or physically harmed because of my decision to cross dress. I, I was coming out as trans at the time, but I understood his point. And even though it wasn't what I wanted, 
I still abided by his rules while I was living with him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you felt this content was helpful to you, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. If you have any additional feedback, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you guys haven't checked me out on social media, check out my Instagram. It's my number one favorite platform. And until next time, be safe. I love you guys and goodbye.